Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jake and here for the reaction. And today I am reacting to The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, Episode 2. It's been about 30 minutes since I watched the first one. So overall, good so far. <laughs> Thoroughly enjoying it. Shit's hitting the fan. Um, we've left it with a fiery person, a person in a fiery... Basically the meteor crashing into person. We've been left with that. Galadriel's in the water. Elrond's ha hanging out with some lord. Uh, the hobbits are... Or the, the Not hobbits. The harefoot are inquisitive creatures. Um, and I, 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 that's... Apart from constantly looking over here. Yeah, and, and I guess Sauron's about somewhere. But anyway, I don't want to waste any more time. I've just seen it. You might have already seen the first one. If not, go watch the first episode. It's been about 30 minutes for me. So I'm just going to jump into this, guys. I hope uh, I enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoy this reaction. And if you do, hit a like. Um, hit the like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Other than that, I'll see you on the other side. Oh, an intro. I, I didn't think we'd get an intro for some reason. Oh, this is this the, the, um, the evil spreading through the land. That like dark grain. Oh, that looks so good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The music, the look of this, it's so it's so good. How are you gonna get out of this? Are you gonna swim the rest of the way? Oh, so you genuinely are just swimming somewhere? Okay. <laughs> Fucking scarer, Jesus, scared me. Oh my god. You should be burning. Oh, okay. He's gonna open his eyes. Is he? Oh no. He's gonna grab her. Oh my god! Holy shit, this looks amazing. Okay. It just ends? No, it doesn't. Your mom's gonna kill you. <laughs> That's the least of your fucking worries. Neither. Ah, uh, they're stealing clothes for the for the naked naked bearded man. And he's not handsome. <laughs> Imagine elephant fox and baby eagle with a broken wing. That was one time. <laughs> Will be our fault. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> Don't break. Just know he's important. He, he, he is. It, is he Gandalf? Is he? Oh no. Poor sheep. Oh shit. This was no ground sheep. Someone dug underneath. Someone dug this passage. Something. Are we getting a kiss? Oh, we're not getting a kiss. Fucking teases. You teasing me, you naughty naughty. Oh, that music. The music. Oh, shit, that's good. Eri Gion, Realm of the Elspeth. Faced with the evil of his own reflection, that the reverie was finally broke. Oh, that's just poet. That's that's just, that's not the truth. That's just fucking poetry. Right, no more. You have come to a region. Region, that's how you pronounce it. Region. How far outside? Men! Dwarfs! Go to dwarfs! Has to be. I admire all who can see into the mystery of things, who can divine from the, the plainness of what is, the beauty of what could be. I'm enjoying this. These two people who appreciate life and hard work and sculpting and poetry and beauty so much. Just walking along, just probably finding everything in which some civilization or creature or whatever does is magnificent. I'll... Yeah. He'll welcome us with open arms. Ah, uh, he's not gonna Tell welcome you with open arms now. Now that you've said that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. The right of Sigin Tavar. What is the right? Oh shit, what have you got yourself into? Well, let's see it. Let's see it. Show me it. Oh. Oh, it looks so good. I'm gonna cry. Oh, it looks so much better now. There's more. 
Okay, so... It... <laughs> so he's going to have to go against a Dwarf for Endurance. I, I feel like he, he's going to win, but I don't know how. Not this time. <laughs> oh, lovely swing. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. Okay. He didn't go too far then. Hello? Oh, my God. Stop screaming, dude. Come on. Holy shit, you are powerful. I'm actually quite tempted to taste that. It's not space. Oh, her dad's not going to die or get injured because she's not there, right? <gasps> oh! Ugh. Your father. It's like a, anything to do with like Bigfoot. Wait, like Harry and Henderson or something, wow. like teaching them. It <laughs> feels like. To twist. Not That's a not a twist. Oh. Oh shit, yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh shit, she is still swimming. Oh, this, this, is this the scene I remember? This is the scene I remember. Well, from the trailer at least. That's a boat, isn't it? Yeah, it's a boat. The worm. The worm? They call it a worm. Oh no, that, that boat is going to get absolutely fucking de decimated, isn't it? Our ship. Oh, the worm, it's on top of the worm, is it? Worm. Oh shit! <laughs> fucking hell! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that was like a scene from Jaws. Oh my god. Jesus, her morals went all out of the fucking window, didn't it? Oh shit. That's not a worm, mate. Oh my Christ, that's definitely not a worm. Oh, okay. That's not. That's. Your man that survived, I guess. Of course he's a, of course he's a muscular, handsome bastard as well. He's be more strategic about it, I guess. Hit in the right spot and with less. His lordship would be willing to escort me to the exit. What? What was this whole thing about? Gladly. What? What happened? He said they were friends. You missed my wedding. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm bad for my children. Two of them. Okay, it's a personal reason. Oh shit, it's, <laughs> this is very personal. Fuck me, I get it now. <laughs> Did take long. <laughs> he's staying, he's staying. He's staying. Are we not? Are we not going to see the children for whatever reason? And we're to leave the mountain untouched. <laughs> it, it is quite. Uh, and then he ruins it. That is until he showed up at our next survey and the one. Oi! Horny little bugger, isn't he? Lurking. Moment we met. <laughs> at the dinner table. Leaving it would grow in such darkness. <laughs> Just like their friendship. Sod it, sit down. Please, I hardly wish to Oh, you know what you're doing. Are you certain? No, toss it in the nearest slag pit. What's a slag to them? A slag is a. like. a term for whore. To where I am. Why? Why are you so handsome? So readily abandoned his companions to death. But they threw you in the water. Sort of knows how to survive. It was orcs. Yeah, bunch of bastards, the orcs. I have pursued this foe since before the first sunrise bloodied the sky. It would take longer than your lifetime even to speak the names of those they've taken from me. Oh shit. What a line. It's not an option. What a line. Oh, is the, is the worm back or is it just, oh, it's just a storm? 
Oh shit, yeah, it's tunneling towards this town. Have this gossip, Bronwyn. I've seen like oh god, you're going to... You're all going to die because of your ignorance. That's all it is, and them gone as a relief. Not the most of us, anyhow. Oh, you little bitch. Well. Bloody mice. Oh, fuck's sake, the mice. It's not the mice, you idiot. Oh my god, what's going to jump about? <laughs> What was it? Right, it's claw marks. Right, wouldn't have been probably quicker for him just to, you know, run there with her, you know? Oh shit, what the fuck is that? What are these things? What are they? Oh, oh fucking up, the rats are running, you need to run. Oh, what, bud, you're not making it through there. No way you're making it through there. Oh shit, he did. He made it through there. Oh, this is from the trailer where it grabs him, doesn't it? Oh, motherfuckers. That's fucked up. Our son's gone. He's gone. He's fucked. I oh, know he's not. He's been hiding. That's, yeah, that's a very intuitive kid. What's she getting? Is she getting something to... Oh... No, not this hiding game as well. Oh, that's creepy. Oh my god, oh, you're creepy. There was the hair on his tongue. Oh no, he's going to be right in front of me, isn't he? He's going to be right in front of us. I've had worse jump scares. I've had worse jump scares. Oh no, oh no, oh no, catch it, catch it! Oh my god, for fuck's sake. Come on, boy! Oh, fuck! In hell! Oh, you ugly fucker! Oh my god! This... This guy's insane! He's a berserker! Oh my god, yes! Yes! yes. Slice him open! Oh. oh, fuck it off his head! She's an absolute queen. Queen! Is she in the war? Oh my god, she's in the war. Yeah, he has to go get her now. Has to. Oh my god, that is somewhat beautiful. Grab it! Grab it! Grab it! Harrowing, but beautiful. That's it. Saviour. Our handsome, handsome saviour. How did that thing not travel that far in such wind and waves? That's what I want to know. The creaking in his bones as he's standing. Oh, it feels weird. Oh my god, he's, he's fucking up the fireflies. Oh, is he, is he putting out what he's drawing? Oh, is this... Is this the guy? Have they found meat? They, yeah, someone mentioned they might have found Mithril by this point. And that's what's advanced them so much and what drives them further into the mountains was the search of it for it. Ah, bastards. <laughs> this is just going to cause you nothing but trouble, kid. You can hear him calling to him. Oh, what? There's no way that is... Blood is creating the sword. How? Why? I'm ready. Ready to do evil? Fuck. How many villagers do we see just running into the fucking wilderness, fleeing in these films? Oh my god, wait, what? Who's found you? Who is it? Who are you? Stop! You're ending there, aren't you? Yeah, you're ending there. Motherfuckers. <laughs> Great episode, though. And that, guys, was my reaction to episode two of The Rings of Power. Now, my door's open. Uh, probably wondering why. Because I have a pug. Right here. Do you want to say hello?
begin. Say hello, Toby. Say hello. Say hello. No? He's a tired boy. He's, got, he's had a stressful day. He's had to do nothing. And he's down straight away. Anyway, so that's why the door's open. Um, yeah, as for the episode, great episode. I don't think I'm going to say bad episode for this show. Um, yeah, it's, it's just, it's, it, it keep me inquisitive, keep me on my toes, keep me interested. Um, I thought the ending could have been more dramatic. I think I would have, I don't know, I think I would have just left it where they were and just then kept it with, um, I don't know, I, don't know. I just I felt like it, I, I realised it was coming, the ending, because I was like, oh, the music building up to it. But I just, I did expect it to end like that, you know. It, but that, that's, personally, I would have just ended it a different way. Whether that be with, uh, it ended with the kid and the sword, uh, and then them going off into the distance. I've, even that one, I don't know. Maybe they could have ended with a reveal, but I don't know what they're going to do with the third episode, who that reveal is. I'm not too certain. Anyway. Um, but yeah, I would just start with uh, the opening credits. It was That was that was good. I, I, I wouldn't say it's my favourite opening credits for every, everything ever, but it was still a very good, um, very good opening credits. I was very, uh, very happy with that. Um... Oh, the fiery pit of magic I put with... All right, okay. Starting with this, I, I'm saying Gandalf, but it's probably not Gandalf, right? If it is, I'll be happy. If it's not, I'll still be happy because I'll still... It seems like it's a wizard with the amount of power and magic he, it, that he holds. So that's what I'm assuming. Uh, that he is a wizard. And it's, yeah, but it's just Gandalf. So I'm just hoping that. But, um, but yeah. So, but that whole bit with the magic where he's talking and it's all like sort of coming around her and stuff like that, like that was so good. And the fact that he came in a meteorite, meteorite, meteor, and then suddenly, then she falls into this pit and it's not even hot. It was just whatever it was in cap, in, like encased them. The heat is no longer there. So, yeah, that that was a great, great scene. Um, I was just but nice Nori because Nori just seems lovely. She just seems like a treat. Her friend, Poppy. Poppy, is it? Yeah, Polly, Polly, Polly. Um, yeah, his friend, um, her, her friend Polly, bit of a, like, sort of, she's still stuck by her. She still had a back and stuff like that. A little bit sort of apprehensive about people, uh, about about the big old giant, but um, but she still came through. I like that. Them them pushing him up a hill and then leaving him there to drop down. Sort of come when they just let, left it, but, and he's just there to see a roll. Reminds me of when I did that to my brother. Uh, he had a, he broke his ankle. I was pushing him up a hill. He was saying some horrible shit to me. This one, we're young. I'm talking young. Well, I'm, he, he was a teenager. I was a kid. He was being a prick. And he was like, push me up, push me up, push me up. I'm like, no, I'm not going to push you up. You could have talked about it. He was shut up, bitch. All that sort of stuff. And he pushed, told me so much that I literally just went, all right. And I left him in the middle of the hill. I, I went to the right, climbed there, climbed over a fence and left him there whilst he was shouting my name. Some randomers had to, they then came along and helped push him up the hill. <laughs> Annoy me, will you? Fuck you. Uh... Yeah, he deserved it though. Throughout, he deserved it. Good. Um, yeah, that's what that reminded me of. I wrote down two people loving life, and that's what that's what I felt with Lord uh, Lord Celebrimbor, Celebrimbor, and Elrond. Them walking towards uh, the dwarven lair, um, just talking about how wonderful they are and like how like. How, how, yeah, they just them just walk along appreciating life. Just it was just nice, you know. Um, I just said dwarves, uh, dwarves versus elf, but realistically, it was just it was just versus an elf in the end. But that whole thing just going into um, the layer and just seeing how vastly sort of su not superior, but just from what we've seen of them in. In the, the previous uh, iterations, this is them at their height, and it's just they they just made it. It was they looked beautiful. It was such great, like CGI use. So like you know what I I forgive Marvel so much for what it does because I'm like yeah that's alright, but then you see shows like this and you're like oh look at the money they pumped into this and look how good it looks, and it's like can Marvel just pump out a little bit more money into it and maybe you'll be like but. 
that that's that's just me whilst watching I felt that because it just looked spectacular this oh it was just so so beautiful then like having the competition to break rocks as well I, I it didn't hit it didn't hit me like it was just like that's such a dwarven thing because they're miners that's what they mine and it's it and I was like well surely the elf will be able to sort of find specific parts of the the rock to then just be like I know here if I hit at this angle at this speed um then it will crack but that's what I thought was gonna happen but no he just surrendered in the end, in the end. and then it turns out he was just pissed off at him for um for not like being not being a pair of his life for twenty years, and it makes sense. Twenty years is nothing for an elf, but it's a long time for a dwarf. He's had a family, has a wife, uh, and it's. It, and I thought I was like I was a bit shocked by how emotional and emotionally charged he was by it. Like, but I mean, as as, as tough as the thing yeah, they're very emotionally charged dwarves, aren't they? Usually annoyed or angry or hungry, but this one he was he was kind of he was sad and angry, yeah, sad and angry. Yeah, so and probably hungry as well. He's hungry. Anyway, so it was just it was it was not it was lovely seeing it. I, I I thoroughly enjoyed that sort of thing. That was the reasoning behind it. Then meeting his wife, and it was it was just nice there having that little loving tender moments, but also horny when they're kissing at the table. Um, the tree in which he planted from Elrond as well to be able to get like the people laughed at him for uh, planting it. They would never grow down any. He's still able to do it. It was lovely, lovely stuff. And then Elrond knowing that which buttons to press at the right time as to how he was able to stay. And then when he tried to leave at the dinner table, knew that he'd eventually be like, no, no, stay. It was it was good. But obviously then we see later on that they're worried that they might know. And I'm fairly certain it is the Mithril. I'm fairly certain that's what they've... Because that's what sends them deeper into Moria in search for uh, more of it, which then releases the Belarog, if I'm correct in thinking that. Um... Yeah, so, yeah, I'm, uh, so so that's so I'm fairly certain it might be Mithril, but uh, we'll say it might be something else. But it's yeah, it was not, It was great seeing their civilization at, at the at its height, and just yeah, I, I don't know. Just I just love dwarves as characters. Um, eating snails, like some reason, I kind of want to try them. Like just after seeing them, doesn't I wasn't like, I was like oh right okay that that would be interesting. As an actual person to try, because you know people make like stereotypes about French people how they eat snails, but like loads of fucking um, countries eat them, and I'd actually love to try. Oh my god, it started to lash it down out of nowhere. Yeah, um, I would love to try them just once, like, but I don't know if there's any places around there that do them. Also, I want to go. Want to gonna go somewhere here in the UK where they'd go. Yeah, no, it's a cuisine because it's so different. It's twenty quid. I'm like, no, I'm not spending twenty quid on snails. So I'd rather go somewhere where it's like, yeah, no, it's snails here. Have a bunch of them for £2, I guess. But they probably maintain that. Anyway, I'm on a tangent here. I'm going to carry on. Um, broken Foot, I think the wizard's going to come, come along and sort that out. That's what I think is going to happen. Um, the worm. Oh, my God. That, that scene with the worm. That was that was unreal. Like, your woman throwing Galadriel back in the water after she realised it was an elf and then the worm coming along. Like, they thought it was their ship, but it was actually just attached. Oh, my God. And, um, and bloody, what's his face? I have his name down here. Where is it? Uh, I have his name down here. Where is it? Halbrand. Halbrand, yeah. Halbrand then just fucking just leaving them behind. Like, the savage he is. Love it. Uh, but that whole thing with the worm, oh, just crashing into everything, like, fuck this, I'm going here, like, I, I hope we get to see that again, but also at the same time, if that is all we ever see of it, just the top of it, not really the bottom of it, if you might see it in bits and pieces going off, I'm happy with that. I think that reminds me of Jaws so much, that sort of not really being able to see it. So I'm, I'm happy with that, but that whole scene within the war of fucking just, <laughs> just fucking people up, yes. So good, so, so, so good. Um, yeah, Halbrand, um, someone in the comments explained who they think, because they were like, I, we didn't know he was Halbrand, but I'm fairly certain we didn't, but someone in the comments said, I think it might be Halbrand, maybe. Uh, so I can't remember who exactly he is, so if anyone wants to let me know in the comments, let me know, or else I'm going to have a look at the comments myself again. Either way, so yeah. Um, yeah, the fourth of time, yeah, meeting his wife. The Southlands, they'll, like, it looks like, well, I don't know if they're actually there already, um, where they washed up, like, but they could end up there soon. 
him bringing her there. I don't know what kind of relationship they're going to have, but hopefully it's going to be badass and uh, uh, yeah, hopefully just badass, I guess. But if anything else, I don't know. He's just he's just too rugged and handsome, and she's beautiful. So it's like they're trying to possibly just put them together and be like, ooh. Now, I'm all there for a hot pair of couple, but sometimes you don't need it. And I'm not too certain where I stand with that one yet. Whereas with the elf, uh, the elf warrior, um, his name is uh, Arondir and Browen. I, I'm going to ship them, but she's walked off with her son, uh, Theo or Leo. And he's just been, and uh, Arondia has been left behind. So we'll see what happens there with that one. Um, oh, that whole scene with the claws and fighting. That was some OP berserker on steroids fucking thing. It looked like, it, it, honestly, I don't know I don't know what it looked. It looked like it was an orc, but not an orc. I don't know exactly what it was, but that was freaky. More of that. That's what I want. I, I don't want, just want to be like sort of blown away by Lord of the Rings and like by everything. I want it to freak me out a bit as well. I want to feel a bit tense. I want to feel scared. I'm annoyed that I remembered stuff from the trailer as I was watching it. I never normally do that, but for some reason they stuck with me. Um, so the fact is that I knew the cause were coming to grab um, Arondir from behind. But that's still, that scene through like her looking through thing, um, the holes and him looking through it, like seeing him destroy stuff and walk around with the claws. Oh my God, that was nuts. So more like that. That's why I want. I want to be. I want to be freaked out. Um, yeah. Oh, Bro let me just make sure. I Bro Bronwyn, Bronwyn, Bronwyn. Uh, her cutting off his head as well. Like I wish we saw that. That seems like it, they sort of made it. I don't know. Maybe people would have thought it was a bit gratuitous or glutton. I don't know. Wait, why have a glug? No, I don't know. I think. Hmm, I don't know. I think if we got the cut and then she picked it up and then we saw it and then it transitioned into the, um, the her in the thing, I think I would have preferred out. Whereas this one looked like they were just trying not to show the blood and the head getting cut off because they don't want to... I don't know. I, I, I thought that that's why I felt like it looked like they were trying not to do it because you know, it might upset certain people or might not be able to be rated a certain thing or whatever. So that's what I was thinking. Uh, but, but that's what I would prefer, prefer if it was more brutal. Uh... Fireflies and Giants. Uh, obviously, it's the consolation. That's where he's from, or he needs to go. Or that's, yeah, or, yeah, his destination or something. I don't know. I'm not too certain how... Like, this is why I think it might be Gandalf. That is that he might now... Um, he might now be brought up among the halflings, slash hobbits, slash... Um, Harefoot? Her, her, Harefoot. And then he, he has, like, a appreciation and understanding of... Hobbiton, when we see him like a Gandalf later on, he appreciates them as they are, and that's maybe it's because he then didn't, didn't know who he was, and then these small little beings made him remember who he was, or they helped mold him into what he becomes. So, just a thought. That's why I thought it might be Gandalf, but again, I'm I I don't need it to be Gandalf as long as it's just a cool, like story or well told story. I'm happy with that. Um. Yeah, uh, Mithril, uh, the kid with the sword. I don't know. Where they're going, that the sword looked like it grew uh, after cutting them a little bit. So I, d I don't know whether, they, like I said, they're doing a Palantir thing. Pa Palantir? Oh, I've forgotten it again. Doesn't matter. I, if they're doing to do that again, where he might be able to, maybe he might he might regen him. He might appear via the sword. That's what it, just an extension of him. Or or this sword is what infects this kid and then he becomes evil. I don't know. We'll have to see. But I don't trust this kid. He already looked like a little bit of an angry kid anyway. But that's that. And yeah, and also, uh, man standing over them. We don't know who that is. Might not even be a man. It had the stature of a man. Toby, I just realised how... Oh, Toby's lying on Lucille. Oh my God. That's so... I'm quite happy. I might have to take a photo of that. Um, but yeah, so I don't know who that man is, but we'll have to see, won't we? So, um, um, luckily for me, it's only a couple of days away. I think I would have been annoyed if on the first day... I would have been like, oh, well, where is this? Like, if I watched it, I was like, now I have to wait a week. But for me, it's only three, four days away, so I can watch it. So I'm happy with that. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Overall, great first episode. So, guys, if you liked the video, please like the video. Comment there below uh, what you thought of the episode. Who was your favorite? What's your favorite pair? Who's your favorite character? That sort of thing. Uh, if you like this type of video, please subscribe to the channel. Um, got a bunch of other videos around here. 
uh, to do with me, reactions to do with me, other people, have a look, see if there's anything around here that might take your fancy. Who knows? But other than that, guys, I'll see you out there.